In this video I'll talk about ultrasound placenta previa. Placenta previa refers to placenta covering part or all of the internal cervical lows. Placenta previa has an incidence of 1 in 200 pregnancies. It is a common cause of antepartum hemorrhage. Ultrasound diagnosis of placenta previa is usually made after 18 weeks due to placental trophotropism. Most cases are diagnosed early on in pregnancy during routine scan and others may present to the emergency room with painless vaginal bleeding. Placenta previa is divided into four grades. Grade 1, low-lying placenta. Grade 2, marginal previa. Grade 3, partial previa. Grade 4, complete previa. Low-lying placenta refers to a placenta that extends to within 2 cm of the internal os, but its lower edge does not abut the internal cervical os. Transvaginal scans showed the placenta lower edge is less than 2 cm from the internal os. Marginal previa refers to placental tissue reaches the margin of the internal cervical os, but does not cover it. The ultrasound image showed the placenta is at the margin of the internal os. Partial previa refers to placental tissue partially covers the internal cervical os. Ultrasound image showed a small amount of placental tissue covering the internal os. Complete previa showed placenta completely covers the internal cervical os. Two diagnosis pitfalls are full bladder and focal myontrial contraction. These can make the placenta appear closer to the internal os than it actually is. Post-void images should always be obtained if previa is suspected. This is an example of focal myontrial contraction. The placenta appears to overlie the cervix during contraction. After the contraction resolves, placenta lower edge is clear of the internal os. Key points to remember. Transvaginal ultrasound is more accurate to diagnose placenta previa and the true distance from the placental edge to the internal os. If low-lying placenta is identified in the second trimester, a follow-up scan is recommended at approximately 32 weeks gestation. If the placenta is low-lying in the third trimester, transvaginal ultrasound is recommended to aid an accurate measurement of the distance from the inferior placental edge to the internal cervical os and to exclude vasa previa. The presence of placenta previa can also increase a woman's risk for placenta accreta spectrum. This spectrum of conditions describe different grades of abnormal attachments of the placenta to the uterine wall includes placenta accreta, increta, and percreta. Some of the ultrasound findings suggest placenta accreta are lack of the hypoechoic myontrial line below the placenta, large and irregular placental lacony, interruption of the hyperechoic line between the uterine serosa and the bladder, reduced thickness less than 1 mm of the myontrium underlying the placenta, placental bulge. I'll make a dedicated video for placenta accreta spectrum. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to see more sonography videos.